Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you my new project, Smart Home. This project is based on an Arduino microcontroller. I use one like this, Arduino Nano. At the moment I did everything in protoboard and then we can put all the components inside a box. I bought this model of 4 relays for Arduino and Aliexpress. I bought this model with 4 relays, but we can find others with 4, 6, 8, 12 relays. In the Arduino Nano we have 9 free digital pins, so we can control up to 9 relays. If we are going to use Arduino Mega, we can control more relays, because Arduino Mega has more digital pins available. Arduino communicates with the app through Bluetooth model HC05 or HC06. We also use a temperature and humidity sensor DHT22. I bought it also on Aliexpress, quite cheap. At the moment with this app we can control relays, temperature and humidity. You can find the instruction on my website in the this home section. And today I'm going to show you how it works and how to make the circuit. Remember that the instructions and Arduino sketch you can find on my webpage in the section as home. Well, what are we going to need? We will need temperature and humidity sensor DHT22. For this sensor we will need a resistance of 10 kilo ohm. We are going to need some wires, a model of relays. I use a model of 4 relays. You could put more. Bluetooth model HC05 or HC06. And Arduino. I use Arduino Nano, but we can use any Arduino. And the S Home app installed on the smartphone. The link to download the app you can find on my website. I already have the app install it on my smartphone. So before using the app we must pair Bluetooth model with the smartphone. Now we connect Bluetooth model to the power. I connect it to the ground pin of Arduino and pin 5 volts. So now we connect Arduino to the power. The LED blinking, what means everything works. Now let's pair the Bluetooth model with the smartphone. To pair Bluetooth model we need to go to the settings, connections, Bluetooth. If we have Bluetooth off we must turn it on to see the pirate devices on our smartphone. We turn Bluetooth on and now we can see the pirate devices. Here below we can see also nearby devices. In my case the Bluetooth model I am going to pirate is called model 2 because I changed the name. Name by default should appear HC05. Press the name of the nearby device and we will have to enter the password. By default it is usually 1234 or 0000. In my case it's 1234. Once pirate it will be in the memory of the smartphone and we will not have to do it again. We can already see the Bluetooth model in the list. Bluetooth model successfully pirate. Now we can go back to the app. We have to choose this Bluetooth model inside the app. For this we go to the settings. This we also have to do only once. And click here where is set Bluetooth model section. And here we see the list of the pirate devices. We must set the Bluetooth model that we are going to use. In my case I am going to set model 2. 
If we have not a pair Bluetooth model, we will not see it in the list. So now we can press the connection button and waiting for the connection. When the indicator of connection is green, so we are connected to the Bluetooth model. Now we can send and receive the command from Arduino. But before sending and receiving the commands, we must connect the TX and RX pins of Bluetooth model. The pins TX and RX we must connect to the TX and RX pins of Arduino. The pin TX of Bluetooth model we have to connect to the pin RX of Arduino and pin RX of Bluetooth model we have to connect to the pin TX of Arduino. Don't forget this. Here we can see the pins TX and RX of Bluetooth model, so we need to connect these pins to the Arduino, to the pins TX and RX of Arduino. I will connect the first TX pin of Bluetooth model to RX pin of Arduino. So the next I need to connect the RX pin of the Bluetooth model to the TX pin of Arduino. The next step we will connect the temperature and humidity sensor DHT22. If you want to see better how to connect this sensor and how to connect all the components, you can download schematic on my web page. Here I have the resistance of 10 kilo ohm connected to the 5 volts and the pin 13. And also to the pin 13 we connect pin 2 of the sensor. So the sensor part is ready, we can check that everything works. Now we click the connection button and the indicator starts blinking. And now the indicator is green, which means that it is connected. While the limit indicator is read, is deactivated. If we press it, the indicator will be yellow, which means that the control of the limit is activated. So, in this way, the part of the temperature and humidity sensor works. And now let's see how to control the relays. Press the yellow button and a new screen opens. At the moment, we don't have buttons created. We can create the buttons to control the relays. Press the button to add a new button and will be open two fields. The first field is to write the name of the button. We can choose any name, for example, light in the kitchen, fan or whatever you want. And the second field is the write the value that will be sent to the Arduino. The value must be a letter. Each letter will take on or take off an Arduino pin. The list of pins and letters you can find on my website. For example, I am going to write the letter A. And if we look at the list that you can find on my web page, we will see that the letter A controls the pin 2 of Arduino. The letter B pin 3 of Arduino, the letter C pin 4 of Arduino. I create a button to control light in the kitchen. 
Now if I push this button, two button will appear. One button is to return back and the other is to send the value that we gave to this button, in my case letter A. If we click once, pin 2 of Arduino will turn on. If we click again, the pin 2 will turn off. In this way, we can create as many buttons as we need and we can control the relays by pressing this button. When we press the button, the value we gave this button will send to Arduino. I create two buttons. Now I am going to connect the relays to Arduino to control them. First I will connect the 5V supply to the relays. And after I will connect the controlled pins of relays. If we do long click on an item in the list, the setting will open, where we can delete or edit the element. If we choose edit, we will see the name and the value of this button. In this button I have value A. If we look in the list of the values that you can find on my webpage, we will see that the value A controls digital pin 2 of Arduino. We can connect a relay control pin to this pin. In the relay model I have 4 control pins. Pin in 1, pin in 2, pin in 3, pin in 4. I connect the pin 2 of Arduino to the relay control pin that I want to control. Also relay model has 4 LEDs that indicate that relay is activated. Какое реле активировано? Ну все, теперь я нажимаю свет на кухне и кнопку. Вот реле включилось. Я думаю, вы не слышали, но раздался щелчок и реле сработало. Жму еще раз на кнопку, раздался щелчок и реле выключилось. Вот лампочка погасла. Опять жму, реле включилось, реле выключилось, включилось. Выключилось. Все. То же самое с остальными. Например, у меня второй пин идет, пин... Э, второй пин у меня идет со значением B. B это у нас пин третий от Ардуина. Включается и выключается. Значит, к пину третьему подсоединяю реле, ну, например, IN2. И вот оно уже включилось, потому что раньше я его оставил включенным. Вот, жму, вот выключилось. Включилось, выключилось. Видите, теперь это спальня показывает. Это у нас второе реле. Ну, например, оставлю свет в спальне включенный. Теперь иду, свет на кухне, жму, видите, уже два. То есть это реле и это включено. Включаем спальню. Выключаем свет на кухне. То есть у меня сейчас здесь 4 реле. Я вам показал на двух реле, как работает. Можно подсоединить, пока не закончится пины на Ардуино. У нас здесь есть доступных. Сейчас я вам скажу. Пин 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Пин 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 и 10. То есть у нас 9 пинов свободных есть. Мы можем на Ардуино Нано и на Ардуино Уно 9 пинов свободных. Пин 11, пин 12 идет тоже на реле, но уже управляют температурой и влажность. Например, обогреватель или вентилятор. И все, каждый раз, когда нажму на кнопку, вот на эту, будет включаться какое-то реле. Ну и реле, естественно, будет включать какую-то лампочку, какой-то другой электроприбор, и все. И таким образом все работает. Ну все, всем спасибо за внимание. Подписывайтесь на мой канал, если еще не подписались. И до новых встреч!